for any two events A and B, P of A or B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B. This is known as the general addition rule. If they are mutually exclusive events, P of A and B is equal to zero. If one card is selected at ran random out of a deck of 52 playing cards, we need to find the probability that the selected card is a spade or face card. First, without using the general additional rule. So P of a spade or a face card or a face card will be found this way. We first we're going to select all the spades. Let's take all the spades. All right? You have uh, 13 of them and then we're going to select all the face cards. Here we go. We s now we're selecting all the face cards. Now we just have to count them. So 13 and then we're going to add 9 to it. So that's uh, 13 plus 9 and then we have to divide by 52 to get the percentage. So it's 22 over 52, which is as a percent 42.3. Now, with the general additional rule, P of S or F, spades or face, is equal to P of S plus P of F minus the intersection P of S N F. Now P of S will be equal to the number of spades 13 divided by the number of cards and the deck is has 52 plus p of f which is the number of face cards 12 divided by 52 and p of s and f is the intersection the overlap so it's 3 over 52 minus 3 over 52 25 over 52, 12 plus 13, minus 3 over 52, and the answer is 22 over 52, which is equal to 42.3%. So we get the we get the same results with or without the general addition rule. The following table depicts the number of years the day laborers lived in the United States uh, before the time, during the time of the interview. These are people who work in constructions. If uh, one laborer is uh, picked randomly, we're going to determine with, without using the general additional rule the probability that it has lived in the United States either between 1 and 20 years inclusive or less than 11 years. Between 1 and 20 years inclusive means 1 is less than or equal to X less than or equal to 20. So we're going to call this event A. Here we go. Then... And we're going to call B the event that X is 
strictly less than 11. Strictly less than 11 means right here from 6 to 10 to less than 1. Okay. Now, what we need to find is the probability of A or B without using the general additional rule we will just add them up so p of a or b will be equal to 17 percent plus 30 percent plus 21 percent plus 12 percent plus 13 percent The answer is 93%. Because it was the answer is all already given as a percentage. We do not have to divide. Now using the general additional rule, P of A or B will be equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B. Let us look at uh, P of A. So for P of A, we have to add 30 plus 21 plus 12 plus 13 which is 76 so p of a is 76 for p of b we need to let's calculate it over here p of b is equal to we will start with 17 plus 30 plus 21 plus 12 and it's equal to 80 now let's go back to B 76 plus P of B, which is 80, minus P of A and B, the overlap. Let's go back to the table. The overlap would be 30, 21, and 12. So P of A and B is equal to? Thirty plus twenty one plus twelve, and we get sixty three. So seventy six plus eighty minus sixty three will give us ninety three percent also. For me, it depends on the situation. Uh, if it's a large data, I would rather use the formula. But if it's uh, simple enough, it's easier to just count. For, for a small data like this one, counting the tabular method is easier. Now we're dealing with the characteristics of people arrested and we have 76.2 percent were male 15.3 were under the age of 18 years old and 
it were males under the age of 18 years of age. So P of X equal to male is 76.2%. Probability of people under 18 years of age is 15, 15.3%. Well, under 18 is X strictly less than 18. And the probability of X equal to M, so X is a male, and X is under 18, the overlap is 10.8%. What is the probability that a person is either male or under 18 if uh, the person is selected at random? So P of X equal to M or X less than 18 will be equal to P of X equal to M plus P of X less than, strictly less than 18, minus the intersection, minus P of X equal to M, and X strictly less than 18. Therefore, simple arithmetic, 76.2% plus 15.3 percent minus 10.8 percent. I'm going to do it quickly with our calculator. 76.2 percent plus 15.3 minus 10.8. We get 80 0.7%. According to enrollment statistics, enrollment statistics, 84% uh, of the students attend public school. 28% of the students attend college, 17.7% 17, 17 attend public colleges. Now, what percentage attend either public school or college? Let M be public school attendance, 84.8%. Let E be college enrollment, college enrollment will be 20 or attendance will be 23.0%. Now, P of M or E will be equal to P of M plus P of E minus P of M and E and P of uh, M and E, here we go, is 17.7%. P of M and E, student who attended both public and college, public school and college, 17.7%. So, P 
P of M or E is equal to 84.8 plus 23.0 percent minus 17.7 we'll do it quickly with our calculator 84.8 plus 23 minus 17.7 now answer is 90.1% that's it. 90.1% attended both.